these arrived today so I'm going to be putting those on the side of the ottoman today and then another thing I want to do is I want to get the earring organizer sorted out so these are just going to go on the sides of the ottoman and then I have a little bit more cork down there I don't have a ton so I'm gonna to have to be careful with it but the other day I was decluttering the art drawers that I have I recently got some um, what's it called um, gouache and I had an old watercolor case that I'd been saving because I knew I could use it for something and it was a very, very good case, but it didn't need the watercolor trays that it used to come with. So I had a look at that and I thought, well, hang on, I can take this apart and use that. And I realized that the little clips would be very, very good for holding up my necklaces. And I know the necklaces just seem to be, the necklaces and the brushes just keep getting shuffled around. At the moment, the necklaces are laid out on the tray, but I think I can have them hanging up, which could be good because it will restrict me for how many necklaces I can own. If I only have 12 slots, I can only have 12 necklaces. Um, and I need to impose restrictions because I know what I'm like. Originally here, I was going to put some kind of mirror, but the more and more I think about it, I tend to use a little handheld mirror like that one when I'm filming or when I'm doing my normal makeup. So I don't think I actually need a mirror on the lid. If I change my mind, I'm sure I can find a way to work around it. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put another little bar, not bar, a piece of wood down there. At the very bottom, I'm going to put something for the larger earrings, some wire that's going to go across, and that's for the earrings that have the little um, clip back. Then up here, I think I'm going to have the necklaces, and at the very top, I'll have the earrings. The first problem I ran into is that the handles were a little bit too wide to be able to screw into the solid part. Quite a lot of this is hollow. You kind of have a wooden frame and then the rest of it has just got a very light plywood or even just a material straight over it. So what I ended up doing was putting it sideways because the way I figured it, if I move this, I'm going to be sat in front of it and I'm going to try and take it from the side. So either way it's not really a problem if it's on its side and the handle still hangs properly so I'll just do it that way. This is the second part I completely messed up on. I'd been saving this phone packaging that came in a parcel. I can't remember what it was that I ordered, but I try and reuse a lot of the packaging because there are so many DIY projects that you can reuse the packaging that comes through the mail. So I save them and I normally save them for a few months. And then if I haven't used them within six months, then I get rid of them, but most of it gets used up. And I thought I could use it to make a ring holder. And the thing that I made was an absolute disaster. The idea was is that I would take the foam, glue it down in a roll, and then try and put a fabric over it. It kind of didn't happen that way. It turns out that with that particular kind of foam, the minute it comes in contact with the glue gun, it basically turns into a glob of hot, hard plastic. So that didn't work. So trying to ignore that, I just left it for a bit because I was just so frustrated with it focused on making the necklace holder and then I moved on to making the earring holder. This did get switched around quite a few times just because I would cut it down, I would put the earrings on and then realise that they either looked too cluttered or I just wanted them a bit more spaced out or on a different part of the ottoman. But the idea was very simple, a chain between two tacks, that's it. 
It also meant that things like the hoops or anything that had a little butterfly backing could just be clipped straight into the chain. So it really was the easiest part of this whole project so far and it looks really nice, or at least I think it does. to do with the earrings I decided to focus on the absolute mess that was the earring holder so I started taking all of this out and that was not pretty or easy and then I took the foam cut little rectangles and then cut a fabric that could go over it I wanted it to be black like everything else in the ottoman folded that over and then stitched it together so that I had three fabric rolls the idea was is that once I'd sewn these I could just put a very thin line of hot glue along that part of the ottoman, just press them on top of it and then they would be a little bit like you see with those ring holders which do just look like little round foam rolls which have been tightly pressed next to each other. The idea was good, ultimately it didn't really work out because some parts of it would stick down a little bit better than others, so in the end even though it was an improvement on what was there previously, it's still probably not going to survive, I am going to take that all out at some point and put something else what i'm not sure yet so i'm just going to leave it there <laughs> until i'm sure i know what i'm going to do with that area and hopefully i'm not going to mess it up for a third time so this is the current state of the ottoman that little earring holder that i made was a complete failure it was better than what i did before but it's just not tight enough and it wasn't holding the earrings. Some of the earrings were falling out just because some areas held it just fine and other areas, I don't know, weren't thick enough or something like that. So what I've ended up doing is putting the smaller studs just up there with the rings. I really like how these look. I think it's a lot more spaced out when they were all over there. It was just too much. I didn't like it. I much prefer that. I do still have a few necklaces, which I think what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna mount them up on the side here. Or what I could do is I can see if I have any of those moon cup um, kind of drawer handles left over. Just put them upside down so it's like a little cup shelf and just put a little row of them here. I'm not sure about that. I need to see if I have any left over. If not, I'm just going to use what I have and use that. Part of me is almost tempted to take this, cut it in half, because I realize that this is kind of like a shelf. If you cut it in half, it's this really useful kind of shelf lip. And if I could find a way to cut that in half and then attach it in there, that would be a really good catch-all for things like my glasses or whatever jewellery I'm currently wearing and I just don't, I'm, you know, it's late, I'm tired, I just want to throw it into a dish. I don't know, I'm going to think about it. Um, <laughs> it would be very cool actually because I could have two, I could have one up here and then one a little bit further down, one for my glasses, one as a jewellery catch-all. I don't know, we will see. I need to think about it and then see what I do. I still need to make a little area here. I've got a really cool idea for this, so I can't wait to show you that. And then here, I think I'm going to make something for my headbands. I'll just make a little open basket type thing so that I can just slot the headbands right there. Not sure about it, still need to think about it. But yeah, it's slowly coming together. The tray's been moved over there. I'm still waiting for a little organizer so that I can put all this along here. And then this part should pretty much be free, which I like. Um, because I think I know what kind of a filming stand I'm going to try and get. But yeah, slow progress, but it's uh, much better than it looked a month ago and it's really nice being able to open this and just see everything laid out. The only problem is, is that now everything's even more shiny and so it's even more tempting for my son. And sometimes he'll wander in here, he'll see it's open and he'll just make a beeline for it. And I can't blame him, it's, it's all very shiny and um, <laughs> I make a beeline for it, so yeah but it's slowly getting there and uh, yeah it'll be interesting to see what this looks like in a month if you like my content and want to follow me on patreon that's where you can find my early content extra content and see the thought process behind things like my books cover designs videos and artwork you can also find me on instagram but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list on the top right hand corner you put your name the email you want your new content to be sent to and that's it you're done.